Hi everyone, my name is Casey Beckler, and I'm a skateboarder. I've been doing it for many, many days now, probably Actually, years. I've been doing it for many years, and through the course of those years, I've uh, I've, bro I've broken some skateboards, and I've, I've actually been just trying to learn tricks. And uh, sometimes those maneuvers, when you're trying to learn them, you break boards. So that means you have to set up some new skateboards when that happens. And when setting up a new board for the first time, it can be pretty scary. A lot of people don't want to set up the new skateboard. In fact, the place where I work at, some people just uh, ask us to set up the boards for them, and I'm like, you know what, we'll do it. But it's it's pretty good to get some experience in. And since I've gotten so much experience and with setting up boards and stuff, um, I've I've learned a couple of little tips that I wanted. To share with the internet today of just easier little ways to make your skateboarding setup process way easier so that's what that's what we're doing today I'm gonna go through five little helpful tips or like YouTube videos like to call they have to call <laughs> oh quickly I'd like to also say that um, I'm not actually setting up a brand new board I still have this old board but I had to take the trucks and stuff off of it in order to uh, in order to make this video so the board I have here is a board that I'm not allowed to show yet because it's a it's a new graphic so you'll be able to see the top of it it's blue First little hack that I have for you guys today is going to be about gripping the skateboard. Now gripping a skateboard, I would say, is probably what terrifies people the most when setting up a skateboard because you can look at the trucks and the bolts and stuff and figure out how you would uh, get the trucks to stay on and stuff, but putting the grip on, if you just mess up and keep messing up, it's kind of uh, demotivating and it makes you not want to do it again, which is why you go on an online store and you ask whoever works there to do it instead. So this is what this is my little tip that I have for you guys and it is called the grip fold plus 45 degree cutting. So pretty much, um, you take your grip tape, here I have Jessup's grip tape, you go like this, you'll have a little bit of distance on both the nose and the tail of the grip uh, to make sure you actually cover the whole skateboard. And a little tip that I do is that there's usually enough room on both sides that's a fingernail's length, so I'll put about in the center of the grip tape, um, I'll put my middle finger in and I'll insert about where a fingernail's length is, if that makes sense. Can you see that right there? And after you've kind of measured it out both in the center of the nose and tail of the grip, you just kind of want to stand over it. And uh, it's easier if you have like a table like this to work on rather than like sitting on a curb or something. But you just kind of, you got to lean over it and then you just, and you, you, you put it on like this. Crap. Uh, you want to let the middle of the grip tape fall first. So if you just kind of let it plop on there. And then you push in the center like this. And you just kind of push it on there like that. You get an air bubble. No, but really, you just kind of slap it on there from the the center outwards, like this. Yeah, there you go. And that's how you get, that's how you get a perfectly placed sheet of grip tape. Uh, you get a little fingernail tip. So that's a that's part one of this little of this little tip. See that outline? So after you have this perfectly placed on here, this is when you're going to this is when you're going to introduce the uh, little the grip fold thing that I talked about earlier and before this uh, hack started. Well, when I was first learning. Often when I was cutting, the grip itself would get in the way of which way I was going because you always want to remember to cut towards yourself. You want to do this little thing, which is what you can kind of see my fingers are doing, is you just kind of lift up like this. All You just got to go all the way around like that. And you can do it while you're cutting it too, but you just you want to constantly have the grip tape out of the way and this will make cutting much easier. The other thing that you want to have happen is that you want to make sure to have a very, very dull, sharp razor blade and uh, you're just want to kind of wanting to cut at a 45 degree angle uh, with, to the skateboard. So if this is the skateboard perfectly flat in front of you, you're going to hold the, the knife like this at 45 degrees. And that's going to give you a nice clean cut. You ready for this? Watch this 45. You can't see it, but this, I'll, I'm doing it. 45 degrees. Boom. Easy. Slip. Oh. So what you want to do is have, after you have it folded up, put it in 45 degrees. You just go. Oh, that's a nice cut. That's a good cut. All right. My arm's getting tired from holding the skateboard. Make sure to save this. This little piece of grip tape that you cut off, it's gonna be helpful for the end of the video. You see that? That's a sexy cut. Oh, it's filming, I didn't mean for- uh. So welcome to hack number two. And for this one, you're going to need your two trucks. It's gonna be a lot easier than what the first one was and a lot of uh, a lot less to remember, but when setting up a new skateboard, uh, you often don't change your trucks every single time you do that. And this is one of those things that I saw when I was a lot younger. Um, is writing which truck is the front and which one is the back or like the nose of the board and the tail of the board and the reason that this is a thing is because your muscle memory and how it feels to be riding a skateboard you get very accustomed to how it feels and if the trucks get swapped uh, for whatever reason because skateboarders are pansies and they freak out if something is even messed up in the slightest way when they're skating this is the thing I've been doing for a while where I write below uh, the truck which is which uh, being the nose and the tail and uh, I already forgot Great. So it's pretty easy to do. All you're going to need is like a sharpie, and this one that I have here is like a super thin pen shape. It's like you can use a normal sharpie. You can do whatever works. And since, for instance, I have this guy right here, this is going to be the tail. So I'm going to write T for tail. There it is. 
Can you see it? See it? I wrote tail there. Yeah, that's cool. Focus. And then uh, for the nose, obviously, I'm going to write nose. There it is. You see it? There's a little nose right there. Kind of looks like a wiener. Now that you have your trucks written on them with a sharpie. The next thing is going to be piercing your grip tape uh, with the with not not the bolts. You don't want to do that. It's going to mess up the grip tape. So this little hack is going to be um it's going to be involving a tiny little screwdriver like this. If you can find something smaller that'll work too, like a toothpick, that might work. But the point of this is to prevent your grip tape from popping up when setting up a board. And again, this isn't like a huge deal. If it happens, it happens. If you only have bolts to pierce your grip tape with after you gripped it. That's okay, but it's really easy to start with making the hole first before trying to like forcefully push a bolt through it because sometimes if you like be a bad grip or something or something goes wrong when you're pushing the bolt through it, it can like tear the grip or something like that. It's just annoying and it's a lot easier to have a, a hole pre-poked through the grip tape. And so all you do for that is you're just going to find the hole where the nose is and you're just going to go poke through it. Can you see that? I'll do it again, but I'll get close this time. So see this? I have this little screwdriver right here. You take your skateboard and you go you see it pop through? You poke through it with this thing. That's what you do. And it makes it a lot easier for uh, when you have to actually like find the hole to poke through it because a lot of the times you have to like, a lot of skaters will do the thing where they look at the backside and they like try to match it up with their fingers and stuff like that. It makes it easier to do that and then you can just kind of pierce the hole through it. There you go, and it goes right through it. This involves the trucks being on the board, and since this one isn't uh, ready to hit the hit the hay yet, we're gonna add the we're gonna put the trucks on this guy, and then I'll see you guys in literally the next clip. Don't put the wheels on yet. This next tip is going to be all about inserting the bearing. Uh, this is I think I think this is probably the most common thing that people do when they're setting up a skateboard. But what I'm saying is that it can be really hard when you're trying to put bearings in, or trying to open them because I can't. Fr you take two bearings. You take your skateboard, you take the one bearing, you insert it, you stand up, you lean over it, and you push down with both hands onto the truck. And it goes straight on there. And there you go. And you take the other bearing and you do the same thing. You push down. And you got a wheel that spins. Stop. Thank you. And another little thing for this is when you're pushing them in, it's just kind of, you make sure you want to push down, rotate it a little, push down again, that way it's super flat and flush. And you just repeat this step uh, three more times with all the other wheels. Now pretend that this is the board I just set up and have all the wheels and stuff on it. Um, a thing you want to do, and you can do this right after you grip the board too, but uh, remember, how, remember how I said to keep your little, your little grippy thing? And that is because you want to sand the deck. Um, I'm not sure, I'm sure every person does this when they're setting up a skateboard. Um, but more specifically what I'm talking about when sanding the deck is sanding the nose. And that is to prevent this thing called grip thumb. Now, um, this was just something I think I saw someone do one time and um, after going through grip thumb a lot, which if you don't know what that is, it's pretty much when you have uh, new grip tape or you're just constantly holding your deck and throwing down. It causes uh, a lot of your skin to rub off and bleed potentially. And it hurts, it sucks. It makes you not want to hold the board. It makes you want to cut off your hand. You don't want to do that. So what you do is you just take this and you don't want to sand down too much because it'll make it uh, not as grippy. You want to do a little, nice little gentle, little gentle rub. And what that does is kind of like, it, it gets off like the first layer of grip that is on the nose. It'll feel like a soft teddy bear on your thumb. Except the teddy bear was made very bad and it's bad quality because it's grip tape. Those were, those were all my little hacks that I have for you guys. Of course, don't forget to, uh, to, to sand the, the side of the board as well. All right, outro. So to reiterate, we have the grip fold plus 45 degree cutting as hack number one. Hack number two, front truck and back truck of little markings you leave on it under the truck. You gotta remember to do that. Number three was the small screwdriver. If you just carry this little guy around with you, keep it in your bag. You can just poke a little hole through it. It makes it easier to push the bolts through when you're uh, about to put your trucks on. Tip number four is a little tip that probably everyone knows, and that is uh, putting a lot of pressure onto the bearing to make the bearing go inside the wheel easier when you're uh, putting in new bearings, or it makes sure that it uh, is most, mostly flat in the wheel. And the last one, which was something that uh, most people do anyways, is sanding the board, and more specifically sanding the nose of the board to prevent grip thumb. That is all we have today on Channel 9 News. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this. I am your host, Casey Beckler. I will see you guys in the next one. The last video or whatever video I did, I bottle flipped. Not gonna do it this time. This desk is disgusting and covered in grip tape now. See how dirty my hand is, all that grip tape? It's gross. Now it's gone. Goodbye.